Great. Uh, I'm glad you're finally looking at hiring a technical expert, and I hope that this expert has some knowledge of geology, dune morphology, possibly biology, plant life. Um, what we're looking at is a picture from the 1900s, and I've got a little quote that goes with it from a gentleman who grew up in this area in the 1840s. It says, a wilderness of desolate, forbidding sand dunes often shifting their positions overnight. The wind carried with it an almost incredible burden of both fine and coarse sand that got into clothes, eyes, nose, mouth, anything that was open and short, besides penetrating the innermost recesses of a household. Now, what I didn't tell you is this picture is Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. That's the windmill on the right side there. Here's another picture of San Francisco. There's a strawberry hill in the background. This is Ninth Street. Okay, what I'm, what I'm getting at is dunes are natural, blowing sand around sand dunes are natural. And I hope that you hire a scientist that understands these sort of things. Um, getting back to Oceano, this is a picture from 1948. I retrieved this from the Office of State Archives. A gentleman by the name Frederick Meyer used to work for Parks, and he took this picture. This is between Pier Avenue and Grand Avenue. This is the same location today, same road. But I had to move to the right to get this photo because where the photo is actually taken, it looks like this now. Okay, so when we talk about vehicles destroying vegetation, I want you to keep that in mind. There's Pier Avenue and Grand in uh, 1939. I retrieved this from a uh, military photo that I don't know why the Air District couldn't get their hands on it. And here's today. There's a little side-by-side -side view, view for you. We can move... Uh, south of Pier Avenue and see the dunes are covered up by houses. Here's the Dunes Lakes area, 1939 on the left, much more open sand. And here's the uh, vehicle area. Again, much more vegetation today than there ever has been. Why is this true? Let's skip these two slides. Okay, another thing I retrieved from the Office of State Archives. This is the uh, Arroyo Grande Watershed Treatment Project. Uh, during the era of uh, Governor Goodwin Knight. And you can see on the list is uh, dune stabilization, 2,500 acres, pasture seeding, range seeding, 4,000 acres, 10,000 acres. They had to plant those dunes with invasive species that we have today in order to stop the sand from blowing. Here's another document from that same archive, pasture seeding, range seeding, 7,000 acres. I hope you get an expert that understands these things and not just another uh, blowing air scientist. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Uh, Mr. Boyle.